Okay, I have a trick for you I call the Deck Divination Trick. Now, first of all, I'd just like to thank uh, uh, Miss Meg822 and Freddy K 83 for um, ironing out some of the details for this effect. It really improved it a lot, so I've actually had this video up earlier, but I've deleted them so that I could show you this, uh, this revised version. So, uh, I'll just quickly uh, show you the performance and how it looks, and then I will leave a link to the tutorial. And, uh, of course, I'll also leave a link to Miss Meg's tutorial. So, um, anyways, what I do is I get the spectator to examine the decks, and they can, they can look at all the cards and shuffle the decks as much as they like. So I'll give them a good mix. And, uh, like I said, they're just regular cards. There's no gimmicks or duplicates or anything of that nature. And once they've mixed the cards, we put the, the cards in to their cases. And I'll tell you why in a moment. We just want to secure them so the spectator can actually choose any case that they're going to memorize a card from. And that way the other case will leave the cards secured in that so I can't tamper with them while they're looking for their selected cards. So, uh, again, the spectator chooses any card, let's say they, or any deck, let's say they choose the red deck. So we'll leave this aside. So we'll pull the cards out. And I get the spectator to just deal down cards on the table, as many cards as they like. So you can just deal to wherever they wish and stop anywhere. And then we set the other cards aside. And then they, I get the spectator to deal six piles onto the table, just like so. Deal the cards out. And the purpose for six piles is so that we can come up with six random cards. So I get them to pick up the top card of each pile. And now the magician does not look at the cards at all. The spectator just secretly looks at the cards and they choose whatever card they wish. So let's say they choose the Jack of Hearts for this example. So we remember the Jack of Hearts. Again, the magician has no clue what cards they're looking at. They memorize one card of the six. They memorize the Jack of Hearts in this case. And immediately the cards are shuffled back into the deck. So we can take the rest of the cards back and mix them all up. So there's no possible way of knowing what card they memorized. Now we go to the deck definition part of the trick with using the other deck of cards they shuffled. So we pull that out and now what I do is I explain to the, the magician explains to the spectator what they're going to do in finding their and how we're going to find their card. So I would explain to, to them to just spell out the value of their card silently to themselves. They don't spell it out, out loud. They just deal the cards one card at a time per letter. So in this case, uh, as an example, I would, I would say if they thought of the Eight of Diamonds, they would spell out eight, E-I-G-H-T, and then, then they would spell two cards for of, O-F, and then they would spell the suit, let's say diamonds, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, just like that. Now, so after I've explained to them how to do that, and it's important that they spell the, I should say, the plural form of the suit. So just want to... Uh, clarify that. So I give the deck to the spectator and now the spectator again silently deals off the value of their card. So uh, in this case they thought of the Jack of Hearts so they quietly spell out J-A-C-K just like that and then silently they spell out of and then they spell out the plural form of their suit hearts H-E-A-R-T-S now before we look at the card that they've arrived at, I set the cards aside and I just move their card over onto the table or we could just leave it on the pile, it doesn't matter. And I would get the spectator to just visualize their card and I'm going to just try to pick up on the color of their card. So I pick up that their card is a red card and believe it or not, the magician is then able to pick up the suit of the card, the hearts and then they pick up the value of the card 
the jack and <laughs> reveal right away that the card is the jack of hearts. And then after the reveal is made verbally, um, it's also confirmed when I look at the card they arrived at that it's also the jack of hearts. So there's a double kicker to this routine. So anyways, I hope you like that effect and uh, um, yeah, so I'll leave a link to the tutorial and, uh, and a link to Miss Meg's videos. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll talk to you later.